Hi friends, welcome to another video of Big Tech Talk. In today's video, we will learn how to push message to RabbitMQ using Java. So let's start the video. So this is my IntelliJ ID. I have already created a Java Maven project with the name as RabbitMQ. And if you go to pom.xml file, you will see I have included com dot rabbit mq as the dependency with artifact id as amqp client with 5.18.0 as the version so let me create a java class right click new java class i will name my class as producer as i am going to produce the message to rabbit mq so my class is created now let me create main function. Now let me define two variables for queue name and for exchange name. So first variable name will be exchange name which is equal to demo exchange and the second which is queue name equals to demo queue. If we want to produce a message to RabbitMQ, we need connection factory. So let's create a connection factory. And the variable name is factory equals to new connection factory. If we want, you can set the host name using this factory variable. By default, the value will be localhost. But for this video, I will set few of the values. So I will write factory dot set host and i will set the host name as localhost and then i will set the port as factory dot set port which is 5672 now i will create a connection which is from connection factory so i will write connection equals to factory dot new connection looks like it might throw an exception so let's add timeout exception okay now we have the connection so let's create a channel so i will write channel equals to connection dot create channel now let's declare our queue using queue declare function so i will write channel dot q declare the first is the q name comma true comma false false at the end null best part about the q declare function is that you can call it as many times as you want if the q is already present then it will not do anything else it will create a new queue. Now I will use a loop for sending few messages. So I will write for int i equals 0 i less than 10 i plus plus and string message equals to message id plus some random value. So thread local random dot current dot next and the range will be 100 comma 200 okay and to send the message we have a function as basic publish so channel dot basic publish and the first value is the exchange name which is exchange underscore name then we have routing key which I will leave it as blank followed by the property which is null and at the last the message which should be in bytes so it is message dot bytes. I will print the message in the console by s out produce and then plus message. At last let me close the channel 
with channel dot close followed by connection dot close. Okay, so the code is ready to push the message. Let's go to RabbitMQ Web Management UI and have a look if there is any message in the demo queue. So click on the queue tab and then click on demo queue. As you can see, there are no message in the queue. So let's go back and execute the code. And these are the messages which are produced to the queue. As you can see in the RabbitMQ web UI, we have received 10 messages in our queue. If you want to check the content of the message, then scroll down and click on Get Message. And then click on Get Message button. And this is the message which we have sent. So, we have learned how to send message to RabbitMQ using our Java code. So friends, we have reached to end of our today's video. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section. Do hit the like button and subscribe for more such videos. Thank you.